Hi, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another 10 minute travel. This time we are with Kim Lucy of Viking Cruises, and we're going to see just how Viking takes you into those destinations and experience the culture with their expeditions and their shore excursions. Kim? Well, thank you, Leslie, uh, for inviting me to, to join you today. Uh, I'd love to talk about some of the experiences that guests can have because they don't often realize when they're booking an itinerary, we're looking at the ports of call and all the history, but Viking really takes you in depth into these destinations. So I thought today would be a little bit about those. Now with Viking, you can travel all around the world. We have ships that go on the ocean, on the river, uh, expedition to the poles, as well as to the Mississippi. So you've got lots and lots of options, as you can see here, to explore over 403 ports of call if you want to on a world cruise. But today we're really gonna dig into what creates an immersive experience for you. And Viking does that through a series of experiences called the Viking Way. We know that people have different interests, so we break those experiences up into different areas, uh, local life, working world, and privileged access. Local life really gives you that option and in, uh, opportunity to meet with the locals, to learn really what makes their society work. Uh, working world gives you an opportunity to dig into the economy and what, what drives uh, the working experience for the people who live in those countries. And finally, privileged access gives you that chance to peek behind the curtain and see and have experiences that may not be viable. So uh, we do break our excursions up, as you can see here, when you go into My Viking Journey and you work with the team at the Travel Lady or South Travel, they will be able to help you pick the things that work for you. So you can see here, we've got sightseeing, they're listed active, local life, working world, beach experiences, and it shows, there's an example with the, with the Guazu Falls in South America, and you can see that it's gonna be active, there's a meal included, it's a natural world experience, there's a world UNESCO high, uh, a site involved, and it's gonna be a little bit demanding because it does require walking and, and climbing over uneven services. So that's what you need to talk to your advisor about. Now, when I break those up, you've got, I, I pulled a few different experiences. I'm gonna take you a little bit more in depth with a few different destinations, but to give you an idea of what local life is, it's about, it's really about uh, peeking in people's houses if you want. You've got the experience of doing a food tasting in Finland or going to visit a family in a home uh, in Stavanger or maybe going to a, a, a New Zealand sheep farm and finding out how that all works. Working World takes you in to learn about the economy. So you can, make, you can join a chocolate workshop in Tallinn, which is uh, one of our fantastic um, medieval towns that's in Estonia. We've got a chance to try your hand at pulling glass in Murano in, in Venice or visiting um, uh, the craftsmen behind the beautiful masks there. We also have a chance to take you uh, to lunch at the top of the Reichstag in Berlin. So these are some of the experiences that we build into our uh, biking tours. So let's take a quick uh, tour around the world, starting off in Scandinavia. I thought it would be fun for you to experience a little bit of a local life experience. And in this case, we're gonna take you into the countryside outside of Ber Bergen, and you'll get a chance to see a, a traditional Norwegian farm. You'll, you, you, we will be taking you out through the countryside, so you'll have a chance to see some of it and in, enjoy some of the mountains and the, and the lakes. This farm is sit on, sits on Ovra Ida, which is a beautiful uh, part of the Jordal Lake. And so here you'll get to meet some of their animals. You'll get a chance to walk, walk around in the farm, see some of the fjord horses and the spell sheep that you see that they're holding. And you'll also get a chance to go in and chat with the family and try some of the local delicacies as well. Now, we do have cultural exploration and I pulled a couple of experiences that I've had in St. Petersburg. Uh, we do a Russian native dance uh, experience. And this is something exclusive to Viking and it's great fun. This is where you'll see the shumka dancers and the balalaika. And then halfway through, they bring us during intermission vodka shots so you can get into the spirit of things. And then in St. Petersburg, it's known for its fantastic ballet. It's one of the, the originators of ballet. And here you can enjoy um, a chance to go and see the first ballet school that started in 1738 and enjoy a wonderful performance of Swan Lake or Giselle 
these are fantastic experiences that we allow you to do. And then active touring, if you're one of those people like me, so like sometimes likes to get out and, and walk, we've got kayaking in Geringer Fjord. Can you imagine how beautiful that would be? That's like a little bit like being on the West Coast. You can do a Nordic hike uh, if you would like. We've got Nordic poles and it's, it's one of those wonderful hikes that will take you up uh, along a nice path. This is something that's very popular in Norway. You can go out on a king crab safari and learn about catching the king crabs and also have a great feast at the end. Or if you're a horseback rider from Calgary, you might want to do uh, the Lofoten on horseback, which is a chance to, to, um, to ride horses along one of the fantastic lakes and enjoy the scenery there. In France, we have lots of great experiences. If, you're, if you love food, you might enjoy this in the Bordeaux region. This is going into the Perigord area and, uh, and meeting a truffle farmer and his dog and learning about the truffle industry and how you can go out into the fields with the dog and the farmer and find it. They're tucked away under the oak and, and um, uh, well, the oak trees, I know for sure. And, uh, and, and you'll also get a chance then to come back and have a lunch that, that includes truffles in almost every course. If you're also interested in wine and brandy, this is one I did that I absolutely love. This is a chance to go to the village of Cognac, also in the Bordeaux area, and you'll get a chance to learn about the brandy industry. And then you get to meet with a sommelier and you'll get to uh, learn how they craft and, and blend these amazing uh, Cognacs from uh, a variety of vintages and different types of, of brandy. Some are fiery, some are smooth, and you create your own blend. You can bottle it, and you can bring it home with you, and you can reorder if you like. It was a fantastic experience. Now, with some of these, um, there are some additional charges. Some are included, and others are more specialized, like the cognac experience. In, in As we go into the Mediterranean, this was another one that I did. I was really keen. I, I, I love to cook, so I was really keen to learn about paella. I've certainly tried it at home, but the paella comes from the Valencia area in Spain, and this is done on one of our ocean ships. And here we went out into the natural park, which they flooded uh, during some some uh, flood control. They've created this incredible wildlife area where you can go out and you'll see the amazing birds and some of the old barracas, which are the old uh, kind of little cottages that people from Valencia come to enjoy. Uh, and then uh, when we arrived at one of these sites, there were there are two chefs there uh, teaching us how to make uh, paella, real paella. And just so you know, real paella from Valencia has no sausages in it. They kept reminding me that over and over and over again. I like to put sausages in mine, so it's more of a Barcelona style, but you can have some fun with that. In Venice, uh, we have some working world experiences, well, in a variety of places. On the Dalmatian coast, on one of our ocean ships, I experienced this fantastic experience at, at an artisan olive oil maker. Now, in, in Croatia, that whole area was, um, was devastated during the Bosnian War. And a lot of the olive groves were also badly damaged. So it's taken almost 20 years for those, uh, those olive groves to revitalize. And they're now starting to produce olives again. So they're little artisan olive oil makers that are starting to rebuild that business. So we got to go and see how olive oil was originally uh, crushed using a, a horse and a, an, and a stone, a series of stone plates. And now uh, we also got to taste some wine and eat some of the food and enjoy that. In Venice, um, I got a chance also to go and learn about how the incredible masks are made from Mardi Gras. And you can go and do that workshop and learn about that. Or if you're in France, they make these lovely little, they're called saint um In France and parts of Spain, they make these amazing crush at, at, for the Christmas period and they create whole villages. And these little dolls are made to rec recreate the village characters, whether it's the fishmonger or the wife and and you can go in and learn and, and uh, craft your own if you would like. And then of course, there's always wine tasting. Uh, the Galatian roots and wine tasting is great fun. That's on the border between Spain and Portugal. And you can do a little bit of uh, learn about that wine and also taste. In South America, we have some really fun things to do. I love tango, Argentinian tango, so amazing. And they have, uh, we do have in Buenos Aires, a tango show. Uh, and dinner. Now, tango is a way of life in Argentina. 
one of one of my favorite experiences in Buenos Aires was going down on a Saturday night where they close about six large streets off, six large blocks, and they're double. They're like these giant, these large, large, beautiful boulevards, and they set up bandstands along it. And a lot of the locals come out and they do tango on the street. I remember thinking that was such a bonus because we had gone to the show and then we got to sort of do the local experience. So it was really fun. I didn't, I wasn't up to it to dance, but I really enjoyed watching all the locals. But the, the tango show really is fantastic because you'll see true Argentinian tango and enjoy some of the great food that Argentina has to offer. Now, if you're interested in a natural world adventure, we do have some cool things to do. Um, the Penguins of Bluff Cove Lagoon, this is in the Falkland Islands, and you'll get to go out and uh, see these amazing king penguins and emperor penguins and then uh, stop and have uh, a little snack as well. This is a wildlife uh, preserve with over a thousand breeding pairs of gentoo penguins as well as some of the king penguins that you see in that photograph. Fantastic experience. And then if you really are adventurous in Patagonia, you can go and do some um, snorkeling with sea lions. Uh, you'll do a sea safari and you'll get to go down to Punta Loma. Uh, this is a, a preserve uh, that is uh, established in, in 1967, and it protects a year-round colony of 600 South American sea lions. So you'll get to see them basking on the beach, and then you'll get to go in and, uh, as you can see, some of our guests, they're um, snorkeling with these amazing creatures. And then finally, I'm gonna wrap up in Asia and Australia with a few uh, quite cool experiences. Here, you can do a photographic workshop as you're walking uh, through Sydney with a top rated, uh, Photographer, you're going to see the, the Sydney Opera House, which is a world UNESCO heritage site. You'll learn how to set your camera, aperture, your ISO, your shutter speed, and you'll pick up some great tips as you're going. Uh, we also have a, in Hong Kong, we have a Feng Shui uh, workshop. So if you've always wondered how to balance your house, you can check that out. There are three forces that they, they call to create positive and negative energy. The one thing I did learn is that you can't go, you can have your front door opening out into a back door so that all the good luck runs right through when you open the door. So you have to have some bends in your room. Uh, and that's why you often see in, in Asian countries, things are built in a circle. They're not built with square corners because the bad energy can get caught in the corners and, it, and, and come back to haunt you. So this is great fun. Uh, with this. And this actually what is done in Singapore. I'm sorry, I was wrong about that. And then we have the um, Ibusaki sand bath experience in, uh, in Japan at Kagoshima. And this is a, a chance for you to, uh, to uh, relax in the hot springs and to, uh, to uh, bury yourself up to your neck in black volcanic sand. We also have our kitchen table experience, and this is available on all of our ocean ships. This is a cooking school that we have on board our ships. And you can go out in different places with our chef. It is a paid experience. Only six, I think it's 16 people can participate. But you go out in the morning with the chef. You go and collect all of the, uh, the wonderful ingredients and you learn all about them. And then you come back in the late afternoon and you help prepare the meal. You'll learn how to plate. You'll learn how to create these wonderful dishes. And then everybody sits down to enjoy the meal. So these are available on a variety of our itineraries uh, on our ocean ships. So Leslie, I think that, that is the last of our tour. Fantastic. I, I just yeah. really feel that we've uh, explored the whole world in just 10 minutes. And yeah. many of those are still on my bucket list to do. So I'm going to have to do some work in the next little while to put those together. Um, Kim, thank you so much for this presentation. Really do appreciate it. And please stay tuned, everybody, for some more wonderful presentations by Kim Lucy of Viking. Thank you, Kim.